Prime Minister and Minister for National Security in accordance with the newly enacted Police Powers Bill and in consultation with the Commissioner of Police by way of a statutory instrument as designated V4 South, an area of escalated crime. This was as a result of a spate of gun violence among feuding gangs in the V4 South area. You know, I mean, I also live in Vieux so you know, we constantly, you always hear gunshots and stuff, even that has... Um, when was the last time you had a gunshot? To tell you the truth, I, I don't even know when was the last time. From the, from the time they started with all this um, take back our community approach, I, I, you know, things have gone really normal after that. Seven people were fatally shot over a 72-hour period. My government, recognizing the threat this surge in crime was likely to have had on the whole country, acted swiftly and decisively in bringing a situation under control. I want to first extend my heartfelt condolences to those families who were victims of the unnecessary and senseless homicides. I would like to thank our local police for their fearlessness and determination to bring an end to the surge in criminal activities. Many thanks also goes to the regional security system for heeding the call for assistance in the fight against crime. That was beginning to seriously disrupt everyday life for the people of Euphort. Prime Minister Pierre's Police Powers Act has been endorsed by the High Command of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. Bringing arrests in St. Lucia does not mean that the men and women in the police force are not capable of doing their work. It gives us the opportunity, especially now with the escalation of crime, we will have more numbers in the ground, so officers will be involved in patrolling, doing operations to deal with the threats of national security whilst we can, and remember, in as much as the, we are concerned about VFOT right now, we are concerned about St. Lucia in its entirety. So with the increasing numbers, we can focus on VFOT and as well focusing during this time on other areas in St. Lucia. So it is a good thing that we have RSS to assist us and what is happening now. Along with support from a contingent from the regional security system, the Police Powers Act strengthens the hand of the police force to mount strategic operations to take immediate control of an area affected by escalated crime. The Police Powers Bill was introduced in Parliament on March 16th. Social and commercial stability has since returned to Vefor within two weeks since the Police Powers Bill was passed in Parliament. I myself feel way more, you know, I feel safer. Business has now, we've now seen some level of normalcy, you know, in terms of business in Vefor. To be honest, um, I've seen a lot of ranking, high-ranking officers, you know, walking on the streets. As I, I guess it has created a level of um, reassurance, a level of confidence, you know, for the general populace of Vieux The statutory instrument that designates Vieux South, an area of escalated crime, is scheduled to expire on May 16th, 2023. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.